How do you remain positive while single? And do we make being single a bad thing? Why, why do we make being single a bad thing? Oh, we just jumping right in. Yes. <laughs> well, first of all, um, yeah, so I've been single for maybe like a going on two. Well, it really should be kind of on the, the three years now. Um, and the thing is, like, at first, when you come out of a relationship, being single can be very scary. It can be very hard, especially if you've been with somebody, you spend all the time with them, you wake up with them, you go to sleep with them, you're on the phone with them all the time. So it's just like, that's your person. And then it just kind of stops. Um, the thing is, it's not easy at first. It is hard. It is hard, but sometimes you have to go through those hard times to get to the good. Um, I think that people make being single bad because it's uncomfortable, or maybe they think it's uncomfortable because they never get to really fully develop themselves, um, fully go out and explore other things. They get so wrapped up into the other person that they neglect themselves. So um, that's one of the reasons why I think single is being hard. What makes it easy um, or easier, mm -hmm. um, because the thing is like, I, I, um, I'm single, but I'm not, uh, like oh like single we don't need a man like that i feel like that's a different category of people mm -hmm. um my um i just feel like people as people we need each other so of course um i would want to be in a relationship but i don't want to be in a relationship that's unfulfilling for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um um so back to the question of um how to remain confident while being single, first of all, find things that you like to do um, and explore those. So um, the, especially now that it's summertime, there's so many outdoor activities. There's outdoor, con I'm in New York. So we have outdoor concerts, outdoor movies. Like you will literally be in Central Park and run into like an outdoor party with a full DJ setup and everything. <laughs> you're dancing, you're enjoying people having a good time, even just sitting in the park. Um, maybe writing, singing, explore things that you like to do. Think back to your childhood of things that you like to do, whether it's going outside, playing, flying kites, throwing Frisbees. Yesterday I was sitting in the park and this dog like came to me with his Frisbee, like his owner was throwing it at him. Mm -hmm. But then the dog comes up to me with the Frisbee. So I grabbed the Frisbee and I threw it with the dog. And it was just like such a cute, like, um, it was a cute moment and the owner is like, oh my God, thank you so much. And you know, um, mm -hmm. just doing things that you like to do, reading, writing, um, making sure you pour into yourself um, as far as like uh, eating properly, working out, uh, um, reading things that's gonna be fulfilling to your mind and your heart um, and still believing that love is out there for you to get. Yeah, I love that because <laughs> And I'm glad because I asked you this question about remaining positive because mm -hmm. during our chats when we would talk on Twitter or I would hear things that you say and I'm just like, that's what I'm talking about because right. I do believe whatever you put out there is what you're going to attract because people will yeah. say, yeah, I don't need a man or I can't stand women or this and that. And I'm like, well, that's what you're putting out there. So that's what you're going to get. Right. You know, and and who who wants to, who going to slide in your DM after saying stuff like that? <laughs> <laughs> right you know right I, right, I don't want right. A Debbie Downer yeah exactly hmm. so I mean of course sometimes it does get frustrating yes. um and sometimes when you run into like the same type of people you might feel a little bit um what's the word I'm looking for you might feel a little bit um <laughs> but sometimes you may feel discouraged that's the word I was looking for so sometimes you may feel discouraged when you are um, maybe running into the same people or the same types of people, but sometimes that means that, okay, that means maybe you need to pour into yourself a little bit more. Leave those people alone. Stop trying to look for something in some body mm -hmm. and look within and, you know, figure yourself out so you don't have to be like on the 
on the on that hunt, especially as a woman, I feel I'm kind of old school when it comes to that. Like I'm not supposed to be on the hunt. Mm. I'm to, like somebody's supposed to hunt me. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I hear so, you. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you because men, you know, we are hunters. We we do feel good about um, making that initial contact. Well, some men. I know a right. lot of guys are shy. You know, but yeah. even still, when you're still able to, uh, I guess get you know, can we be connected on Instagram? I don't know how people connect nowadays. Do people say, let me get your Instagram or do people ask for your numbers? Like, <laughs> how do people well, even connect? You know, it's so 